this preacher right here, watch this. When the largest Pentecostal, when the largest African-American Pentecostal denomination, when that leader stands up and said, I endorse that woman, he was saying, I endorse murder. I endorse homosexuality. I endorse lesbianism. I endorse transgenderism. I endorse every evil that hell could prosper or bring up to the right. That's wrong, folks. And the black church votes predominantly for the party that is anti-God. What's going on here? What's going on? You must be racist if you come out here to tell some members, some pastors of the black church that you leading the people straight to hell if you vote for that woman. So it's been made abundantly clear that you can't criticize blacks. You can't criticize black women. You can't criticize black church. You can't criticize black pastors. You can't criticize black congregations. You can't criticize black Christians. You can't criticize black homosexuals. You can't criticize black sinners. You can't criticize black transgenders, you can't criticize black criminals, you can't criticize anybody from the black community who's done something wrong. You just can't criticize. You can't criticize black presidents. You can't criticize black Indian woman who wants to be president. You just can't criticize them. If they got a drop of Negro blood in them, you can't criticize them. Nope, nope, nope. Negroes is off limits. Hello, friend, and welcome back to The Conservative Poet with me, Amanya. As you know, on this channel, we talk everything politics, reactions, political commentary, a little bit of humor, some parody to drive home the crazies that we are seeing in the society. So if you're back, that means you enjoy the content. So help me out, friend. Like, share, and comment. That way, other people can find the conservative poet, and they can enjoy this awesome content that we're putting out. So thank you very much for your participation. Again, like, share, comment. It all helps me out. Without further ado, we're going to get into this video right now. Pool pit pimps. It go pool pit pimps. Pool pit pimps. Pulpit pimps, pulpit pimps. So today, friends, we are talking about pulpit propagandists, pulpit, pulpit pimps. Yes, pulpit whores, pulpit uselessness. So, friends, yes, we're talking today about pulpit pastors who has come out here to boohoo whine cry bitch and complain and scream racism because a pastor who just so happened to be a different color called out the black pastors in the black church by saying that these black pastors and black churches are literally siding with the side that is unrighteous. Now, unrighteous, ungodly, satanic, all that has nothing to do with the color of anyone's skin. This is a fact that is happening in the church that the church, the black church, who are supposed to be Christian, votes unchristian. 
because they vote for candidates like Barack Hussein Obama. If you remember, and if you know anything about Barack Hussein Obama, the only thing he did was push hate, division, and homosexuality. He stood sometime back then and in a, in a gay community function, and he told them he was going to repeal the marriage act. You know, man, woman gets, man, woman get married, that. Oh yeah, he changed it so that man and man, woman and woman could be married. He saw on the Bible to uphold the constitution, but yet didn't because the marriage act was in the constitution, but Obama changed that so he can make homosexuals be able to get married. The fact. Anyway, back to the church. So the church has been called out. The black church has been called out. And, they, and he said that how can the black church stand with that woman, Kamala Harris, who is for homosexuality, transgenderism, murder, evil, all of these things that is ungodly. But those pulpit pimps, they come out here to talk about the pastor because of his skin color. How dare you speak to black people this way? How dare you speak to the black church this way? Not knowing or not putting together that we are brothers and sisters in Christ. And it has nothing to do with color. It has everything to do with morals, ungodliness, abomination, those kinds of things. But if you criticize anything black people do, then you are a racist. And so today, we are going to look at some of these pool pit pimps and propagandas and have their boohoo whining and crying clap back to Pastor Donnie. Let's do it. Here's what Pastor Donnie said. He said what he said. He said what he said. And he said it well. He said it well. He said it well. Now, I'm fixing to make some people mad right now. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be, from what the statement I'm about to make, I'm going to be called a racist. And I will be called every name under the sun. But somebody needs to stand up and speak to the black church. With the largest Pentecostal when the largest African-American Pentecostal denomination, when that leader stands up and said, I endorse that woman, he was saying, I endorse murder. I endorse homosexuality. I endorse lesbianism. I endorse transgenderism. I endorse every evil that hell could prosper, bring up to the right. That's wrong, folks. And the black church votes predominantly for the party that is anti-God. What's going on here? What's going on? See, my statement to them is this. We, we, we've had them call into the program. Hey, I don't like it when you talk about how I said, Well, no, the problem is they don't like it because we're stepping on their toes. Hello? They're cowards. You see, listen, 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 listen. Whenever you take a stand like I'm taking, there will be some people leave the church. There will some people get mad and walk out. 
But understand this, I don't work for you. I don't work for you. I work for the Lord. I'm a Christian. Brother Donnie, Pastor Donnie, those pool pit pimps in the black church, they don't work for God. Not the God I know. And certainly not the God you know, because right here you are standing here, you're standing on righteousness, you're standing on truth, you're standing on the love of Jesus, you're standing on the love of people, you're standing on the love of country. And so those pool pit pimps, they're not out here trying to save people's souls. Obviously you are. They are not out here trying to keep people from voting for their own detriment, which is death, which is murder, which is abomination, sin, which is, which is all of these filthy things. Again, death, babies, murder, crime, all of these things is what they are voting for. They are standing with a party that is detrimental to the word of God. But that's who these people are. You know, they got to protect their 5013C status. They got to protect these things. You're working for God. You're out here telling the truth for God, for the kingdom. And they ain't going to like that. And yes, pastor, you're going to lose people out of your church. And they've already come for him. They've come for pastor. All of them have come for pastor. And what did he say that was so wrong? How can one of the biggest pastors of the biggest um, church come out here and say, we're endorsing Kamala Harris? How can you, a pastor, a leader of such statue, come out here and say that when, when you do that, all the other fools weak link pastors, they all going to come and follow suit, right? And so when you say it, they all follow suit, just like they bring LeBron James out here and, and they expect all the black men to follow suit. They bring Michelle Obama out here. They expect all the black women to follow suit. They bring uh, Beyonce out here and expect all the black women to follow suit. They bring Barack Hussein Obama out here, Barry Sorati. They bring Barry out here and they, they expect the black man to follow suit. And so when the black church come out here and say, this is what they're doing, then they expect all the rest of them to come through and follow suit. And so when you vote for a party that is detrimental to the word, it tells you in the word that God don't like homosexuality. It tells you in the word that God don't like man on man action. It's an abomination. Woman and woman lesbianism, it's an abomination. This whole transgender thing where you're, you're, you're turning your parts. God created you with one part and you telling the world that you're a different part and you go out there and you have all these surgeries to, to make yourself all this and that. And then you put on all this makeup and you, and you do all this. It's an abomination. Women shall wear women's clothes. Men shall be men. You know, there's no mixing of the two. It's an abomination. If you don't know what abomination is, it means it is disgusting. It is vile. It is ugly. It is nasty. And God don't like it. So, Pastor Donnie said nothing that was outrageous. But these pool pip pastors have a different saying. We're going to listen to a few of them whine, complain about the man of God saying that the church is leading the people to the wrong path. The church has failing the people, the black church in particular. And it is true. The black pastors, the black church, they vote nearly, maybe 99% of the time Democrat. And they call themselves Christian. Not all of them, because my church is not a part of that. And there are many churches that's not a part of that. But the majority, 
of the black church, they take their cues from these useless pimps. Friend, are you exhausted with the gaslighting from the left? Because I know I am. And sometimes it can be a tad bit stressful. And in those moments, I whip out my patriotic candles and I burn for freedom. I burn for our country. And I get a little bit of relief from the insanity that's coming from the left. So today you can get it. 30% off at the Orlando Patriot. Grab yourselves some candles to relieve your stress as we hone into this election and it's becoming more and more stressful. Grab some for your friends, family, even grab some for a liberal or a leftist because they are stressed out too. So 30% off orlandopatriot.com. I'll see you there. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. Donnie Swaggart, this white evangelical pastor, had the unmitigated gall to get up in his church this week, if you can call it a church, and wage war on the black church. He said, and I quote, they going to call me racist, and we are. they going to call me every name in the book, and we should. And then said, but somebody got to talk to and call out the black church. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Somebody got to call out the black church because the black church is ordaining and endorsing all kind of evil when they vote how they vote. Said out of his mouth, we're endorsing murder. Now, last I checked, if we want to compare the body count of who's got the most murders on their record, I guarantee it ain't the black church. Well, pastor, pastor man of God, if you are looking for the numbers, the body counts, well, I have the body counts for 2023 of how many babies were murdered because the church has been asleep, because the church voted for people who condone this. And this is not black on black crime where, you know, we're killing each other through guns. No, this is just death. As we know, 50% of the black death happens in the womb. So here are the numbers. To be precise, res researchers estimate there were 1,026,070 1, abortions in 2023. Of that, over half would be blacks. So, Mr. Black Pastor, here are the body counts. So, I got to get this word, I got to let everybody know, we will never let anybody come out and call themselves calling out the black church. We are in pursuit of God. We are in pursuit of righteousness. We are in pursuit of holiness. And nobody, nobody can knock us off of the foundation that we stand upon. We are for God. Seen that? Heard that? Good. Man of God, pastor. I don't know why you all upset. Why you upset? You shaking the dead. You, you, you all upset. Why you so upset? If you was a man of God, you righteousness, you seeking glory, you seeking Jesus, you seeking. Why you so upset? If the man, all the man said that black churches condoning death, murder, 
homosexuality, lesbianism. These are the things that the black church is condoning because the black church votes for Democrats 99% of the time. So why are you upset? These are sin, man. These are sin, pastor. Or have you forgotten that? Man of God with your Bible in your hand. The devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Over the last week, they have unleashed every arsenal to try to dismantle the weight of what it is that God is calling us to do. How dare you think you can curse a church? If God be for us, who can be against us? Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. It is these same white evangelical preachers that have said nothing about Trayvon Martin said nothing about Freddie Gray, said nothing about George Floyd, and now you want to find your voice over a convicted felon who is a racist and a misogynist? Where was your prophetic voice during all of that? Indeed, pastor, man of God, the devil does come to kill, steal, and destroy. He comes to kill souls he comes to destroy souls he comes to destroy families he comes to destroy a country he comes to destroy people he comes to destroy children he comes to destroy kill steal and destroy and he uses people just like you to lead your flock into the pits of hell yes yes into the pits of hell they will go because of people like you. Because why? You're condoning homosexuality, sin in the Bible. You're condoning murder, genocide, a black baby's in the womb, murder. You're condoning that. You're condoning that. Yes, the devil does come to kill, steal, and destroy. Pastor to such nonsense uh, in this war Satan has elevated new names uh, to take ranks uh, in his officers uh, say what you will there's the name of bigotry uh, that Satan has elevated anew uh, requires human help it does not always come forth we must realize that when people won't act for God they are actually acting against God I hear people saying, yes, I understand that we're in this election process, but they are saying, I don't like any candidate. When you don't vote, you vote for the opposition. We must stop kidding ourselves by withholding help. For, for when we do that, we are arbitrarily helping the enemy. Pastor, man of God, you know that you are not acting for God. Because what Pastor Donnie has said that is the church is standing with a person who is for an abomination, homosexuality, murder, transgenderism, lesbianism. They're anti-God. They're anti-church. They're anti, they're anti-Jesus. These are the people that you're putting in office. These are the people that you're voting for. The Bible says thou shall not kill. The Bible says two men shall not lie together. Two women shall not lie together. So pastor, if you support somebody who believes in these things, then guess what? You are acting against God's will. You are the one being used by the demons and the devil. Pastor. Oh, I'm on one tonight. I'm letting y'all know that right now. And Donnie, my sisters and brothers, had the nerve to call out the black church because in his mindset, we're supporting Kamala Harris while the white church is, is supporting Agent Orange because somehow Agent Orange is the candidate of their God. I get that because their God ain't my God. My God is the God who showed up in Exodus on the side of the oppressed. My God is 
is the God of divine justice. My God is the God that so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You see, God loves the world. I guess who's in that world? Palestinians are in that world. Congolese are in that world. Haitians are in that world. Gay folk are in that world. The LGBTQIA community is in that world. God so loved the world. And if you don't love the world like God loves the world, to hell with you, Donnie. Seen that? Heard that? Good. Well, pastor, man of God, be prepared for the judgment. Since your God is a, a God of just, your God, be prepared when your God brings you into the gates and says, Pastor, how did you do with my sheep? How did you do? How did you lead them? Did you teach them about the Bible? Did you teach them that I said, thou shall not kill? Did you teach them that I said, thou shall not lay with other men? Men should not be laying with other men. Did you teach them that thou were created in my vision the way I created you? Did you teach them that thou shall not become transgender, changing sexes? Did you teach them that thou shall not murder babies, innocent blood, pastor? When the judgment comes, pastor, he is a God of just, and hopefully, justice will be served for all of you pastors. What you say, pastor? Pastor, righteousness, man of God. What you say, Pastor Donnie? You cannot support a party that wants to remove the influence of the church from society. Without the church, this nation would be nothing more than an animal crawling jungle. And if you don't believe me, you go to our major cities of America that have been governed and are governed by members of that party. It is a zoo. Crime runs rampant. Citizens fear for their lives. Can't do it. And as a Christian, you can't do it either. I will not be silent. I will not shut up. This country is too great. This country is too important. This country was birthed by God. Pastor Donnie, man of God, keep preaching the good word. Keep preaching the truth. Keep preaching. Keep fighting for God. Keep fighting for your employer. You said it that. I work for God. I don't work for the congregation. I don't work for the politicians. I don't work for evil. I work for the one and only living God. So you keep telling the truth. You keep telling God's word. You keep at it, Pastor Donnie. And when those gates open and God said, Donnie, how did you do? And you will stand up and say, God. I tried to tell them. I tried to warn them. I tried to tell them. But they never listened. But I kept on talking. I kept on it. They never shut me up, God. Because I worked for you. Friends, we all have to stand up against this evil that we're seeing. Tomorrow is election day. I'm going to actually drop this video tomorrow um, on election day. And I want to say that all of this, we've been at this thing for years. An election was stolen from us in 2020, but we see now God had to show us a lot of things. He had to show us who these people are. And friends, this is the reason why Donald Trump is going to get elected tomorrow. This thing is too big to rig. And so we are praying 
that tomorrow that God is going to move because it is time to get this country back on track. These pool pit, pit, pool pit pimps who call themselves pastors, shepherds, doers of Christ, as you've seen there, fail yours, failing propagandas who is not standing up for, for Jesus, not standing up for God, not standing up for the word, not standing up for righteousness, not standing up for goodness, not standing up for morals, not standing up for humans, not standing up for babies, not standing up for life, not standing up for purity, not standing up for anything good. These people are pool pit pimps. And tomorrow, election day, our creator is going to speak. And once again, Donald J. Trump will be elected president so he can help us to navigate out of this pit of filth, the abomination that this administration has done. Over a million babies murdered in 2023 under their watch. And who knows how many in 2024. But I pray that 2025, America will become godly again, morals again, so that we can take on a new path so we can leave this, this chapter of ugliness behind us as we move forward. So friends, happy election day. I will be busy working on the ground tomorrow. And I will be live streaming the event at the watch party tomorrow night. So tune in, join me. We'll, we'll be starting at about 7 o'clock, maybe 6.30, depending on how things go. And we're going to bring it to you live. So thank you very much. Like, share, comment, subscribe, participate with the video because it lets YouTube know that you enjoy this content and you want it. So share it with your friends. Share it with your enemies. Just share it. So I thank you, God bless you, God keep you, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video.